Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Jotobuzz and we are going to talk about Pokemon Go. I just woke up, JJ. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about Pokemon Go and we're going to talk about how to take down gyms and how to stay in gyms longer so you can earn that sweet, sweet moolah from the Defender bonus. So first things first, you want to take down some gyms in your area, but they're all being held down by the opposing teams. First thing you need to do is team up with some friends because friends will help you take down a gym. It's easier to do it in numbers because uh, you can 6v6 or I think it's more than 6. You can have up to 6 Pokemon when you face an opposing gym, but if you want to level up your own gym and raise the prestige, you can only use one Pokemon. So for all those gyms being held down by such tanky Pokemon, here are the Pokemon with the highest base attack stat. And uh, this is not including legendaries. Stop attacking me! So coming at number 10, we have Bileplume with a 202 attack stat. Now I have a Gloom and I have a bunch of Oddish, so I'm on my way to getting a Bileplume. I don't have one yet because they're not that easy to come by around me. Number 9 is a Nidoking coming in with a 204 attack stat. Pretty good, um, but he's on the same level as Gengar, who is number 8, and coming in with another 204 attack stat. Coming in at number 7, we have Magmar with a 214. Number 6, we have Charizard with 212. Uh, number 5, we have Victory Bell, 222. Fourth best is Arcanine with 230 base attack stat. Then we have Executor, number 3, 232. Number two, we have Flareon with 238. And then, last but not least, and this may not come as a surprise to you, but uh, Dragonite is numero uno with a 250 base attack stat. So if you're looking to take down some gyms, these are your 10 best Pokemon to go to. So round up some friends, level up these Pokemon, take down some gyms. So you and your buddies took over some gyms. Now, you need to know which Pokemon you want to leave in these gyms so you can, uh, you can hold it longer and take in those defender bonuses. Because remember, the longer you can hold the gym, and the stronger the gym is, the more defender bonuses you can take in, which is gold and stardust, which will help you level up and ultimately just become more powerful. So the 10 best overall Pokemon to do this, now, when I say best, this is including stats like attack, defense, and HP. Number 10, coming in, Venusaur. Now, Venusaur, let's be realistic, is the worst of the three starters. This is the worst final evolution of the three starters. Because no one fucking wants Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur's trash. He's a little fucking Brussels sprout. Come at me, Bulbasaur lovers. Number nine, Slowbro. The evolved form of Slowpokes. If you have a bunch of Slowpokes in your area, quickly evolve them. Get that Slowbro and stick one in the gym if you can. It'll be hard to take down. Number eight, Gyarados. And if you have the patience or the wherewithal to go out and catch fucking 100 Magikarp or whatever you need to get 400 candies. Pretty sure you need 100 Magikarp because you get three, and then you can sell one. So maybe you need 101 Magikarps. If you can go out and find 101 Magikarps, get a Gyarados. He is strong. He will help you defend your gym. Coming at number seven, we have Vaporeon. However, Vaporeon was recently nerfed. Now, I'm not sure what the, the attack stats are or the, the base stats for Vaporeon. However, Vaporeon is still a good Pokemon. Um, I think they just nerfed the attack damage because Vaporeon was so OP, but it's still a good evolution of Eevee, so keep using Vaporeon. Number six, Executor. And I don't know what it is about Executor, but I fucking love Executor. Executor might be one of the stupidest Pokemon ever, if you ask most people, but I love Executor. And did anyone see the new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer with the Alola? version of Executor. I don't know if that's going to be a different evolution or if it's going to be like a different branch where you can kind of like go this way, but it's a huge palm tree with fucking, it has a face on its ass and it has three heads in, it's great. I love Executor and I hope that version one day makes it to Pokemon Go. Number five, Blastoise. Now Blastoise has a great, great defensive stat. Um, I think he's high in HP too. I think Blastoise is actually the highest defensive stat. So Blastoise is super tanky. He'll be hard to take down. So sticking him in a gym will make sure that people are whittling through one, two, three Pokemon just to kill Blastoise. So it's it'll last you a little longer. 
Coming in at number four, we have Arcanine. Arcanine is badass in itself, so there's no explanation needed there. Just put your fucking Arcanines in a gym and kick ass. That's it. Number three, Lapras. Now, I haven't come across a Lapras to catch or hatch one yet. I haven't even seen a wild one. I wish I had a Lapras, but I do not. But Lapras is the third best Pokemon to defend a gym. The main reason why is because Lapras has, let's see here, 260 HP. So that's more stamina than most Pokemon. There's only a couple that have higher HP than Lapras. Number two, Snorlax. Now, Snorlax is a big boy, so stick your Snorlax on a gym and they will have a hard time taking it down because he has 320 HP. That's super high. So your Snorlax is not going to go down without a fight and it might take a couple Pokemon of theirs to take him down. So Snorlax is definitely good for holding down a gym. Now, number one, and this may come as no surprise to anyone, but Dragonite is back on top. Dragonite is the best Pokemon in Pokemon Go that is a non-legendary. So right now it looks like Mewtwo is the overall best, but however, Mewtwo's not in the game yet. So if you are lucky enough to have a Dragonite, or if you've worked your ass off enough to get a Dragonite, Dragonite is your best Pokemon for taking and defending gyms. You know, overall, he has the best balance of stats. So if you have Dragonite, use your Dragonite. I'm salty because I don't have a fucking Dragonite yet. I want one. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you like it, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know what your most powerful Pokemon is. I hope these tips helped you out to go out and secure some more gyms and hold them down a little longer to earn that Defender bonus. Be sure to hit that sub button, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Go tips, tricks, adventures, and what other stuff may come to this channel. Until then, I'm Chalkpuss. Peace.